hey guys welcome to gardening upbeat and i hope you are doing very well this video is all about how to grow the hollyhock from the seeds hollyhock is one of the best winter flowering plants and in india we can start growing from september end onwards here in this video you are going to see everything from sowing the seeds to flowering so let's start the video now I bought the seeds from trustbasket.com and you can also get it from seeds and pots if you like. According to the product description, the variety which I bought was supposed to be the drop variety, but they were not. Anyway, this is how the seeds look like. The ideal temperature to grow the hollyhock is around 15 to 32 degrees Celsius and like I said before, in India we can start growing the hollyhock from September end onwards. Hollyhocks usually have long root structure and that's why it's better to use a pot with at least 4 to 6 inch depth to sow the seeds. I have decided to use this pot and the depth of the pot is around 4 inch. For the potting soil mix, I am taking 80% cocoa peat and rest 20% vermicompost. As the pot is somewhat big, sowing the seeds of verbena here. And here I am sowing the seeds of hollyhocks. Hollyhocks seeds need light to germinate and please avoid sowing them too deep. We can add a very thin layer of soil at the top, let's say layer of 5 mm soil. Next, water well. Just after sowing the seeds, we need to water a bit more and without water, seeds are not going to germinate properly. Next, going to keep the pot in a place where it's going to get 2 to 3 hours of direct sunlight. Alright, seeds are starting to germinate but sadly only 2 got germinated. So far, I haven't watered them and we can see the soil is still looking moist. You are going to see when I am going to water for the second time. Here you can see the verbena seeds are starting to germinate. The top layer is looking bit dry and let's spray some water. This is the second time I am watering them after sowing the seeds. From now onwards I would be watering bit more as they are starting to grow well. Next we would need to wait for some more days so that they produce true leaves and we can transplant them. The first two leaves are not the true leaves and they are known as seed leaves. So guys here you can see that true leaves are appearing and we can transplant them now. Took quite a long time though. For the pot selected one 18 spot and I would recommend you to use at least 8 to 10 inch spot. For the potting soil mix doing it very basic way and that is 50% of normal garden soil, 25% vermicompost and rest 25% cocoa peat. As you can see they have produced the roots nicely and this is why I took a pot with more depth to sow the seeds. They also don't like if we disturb the roots and that's why I am doing everything very carefully. Alright, transplanting is done and it's time to water. As the soil is already looking moist, not going to water heavily. Next, I would keep the pot in bright area for 2 to 3 days and then I would move the pot to the terrace where it's going to get the whole day of sunlight. Let's take a look at few updates. <laughs>
So guys, you have already seen the updates and you can also see my plant is already starting to produce the seeds. The good thing about hollyhock is that they keep blooming for many more days. For example, it was 18 January on which I recorded the very first bloom and this footage is from 9th March. There are still more buds which are yet to bloom. Alright, let's discuss about the important things now. First one is sunlight. Though they do well in whole day of sunlight, it's okay even if you are able to provide them minimum 5 to 6 hours of direct sunlight. For watering, please keep the soil consistently moist and don't let the top soil dry out completely, something like this, especially at this stage. If we do, we are going to find wilted leaves as you can see here. For fertilizing, it's more than enough if you fertilize them only once or maximum twice. You can fertilize them once within 40 days after transplanting and this way they will be able to produce more buds. Usually I apply two components and the first one is 10 grams of mustard cake powder. Second one is 15 grams bone meal. I have also written the alternatives on the screen and if you don't have anything at all, just apply either vermicompost or composted cow dung powder once in 25 to 30 days. So guys, this is all about how to grow the hollyhock from the seeds. I hope you found this video useful and if you did, I would really appreciate if you give it a like, share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel if you are new to gardening a bit. Also please let me know if you found any difference in the voiceover. I have used one new microphone and I hope you are liking the new, new audio. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I truly appreciate it. Have a great time and enjoy.